Hello, it's Sarah. I'm working on a project. Sorry, I have my my camera um, up. So I want to base coat this piece of furniture. This is a little piece. I don't know if you've ever seen it in my craft room. Um, kind of hanging out in a corner or up against something. It's like a, a triangular shape shelf that you would put in a corner. Um, right now it's kind of behind my desk. Um, I want to paint it. And it was, it was actually a piece of a project that I went to, I, I don't know when I did it. I've had it for years and it's kind of been in this half paint, like these, I think I've base coated these before. This has definitely never been painted, but I found a piece on Pinterest that it's just kind of, um, well, I could probably show you on my phone, but this is my inspiration. So it's a three tiered. Let's see if I can show you. This one has three tiers, but it's just super colorful and fun. And I thought I could definitely do something like that and just make this kind of like a colorful piece of furniture in here because it's craft room. Why not? So the first thing I want to do is seal it. Like I said, I don't remember what I ever did with it or what it was for. I'm going to flip it over. And to do that, I'm going to use my all-purpose sealer. This is a Joe Sonia brand, but any type of sealer. You could even use um, varnish. You could mix it with varnish. But I'm going to squirt out a good, probably like a dollar. If, we, if you still remember those coins, uh, amount of that. And I'm going to use some buttermilk because I just happen to have a really big bottle of it. And I'm going to mix the two, so I'm going to put it out like one to one. I'm going to use one of these big brushes here. This is the uh, Joe Sonia Sure Touch Oval Wash Brush that, come on, please come to my mind. I can picture her. She suggested, and I, I'll, I'll tell you throughout the, I, I am brain dead. But anyway, I'm not even going into water. I'm just going to load my brush with this. I'm brush mixing the two together. And I'm going to coat this whole piece in this. And that way it'll be sealed and ready to go. And then I'll create my design. But I'm going to paint the legs first. I guess, you know what I'm going to do underneath too? Why not? Let me, sh I'm going to try and point this to what I'm doing and see if it, yeah, that's good. Um, I sanded it briefly, like I did do a sand on here, but these, the legs are really what I want to get. Ooh, my brush is really juicy. Her name is Lisbeth, Lisbeth Stahl, I'm pretty sure. And, you know, a lot of times when I'm choosing a brush, I like to go to the store and pick them in person so I can touch it and really see what it feels like. I'll kind of just push it up against my hand and see if it, uh, if the if the bristles bend and move the way I like, if they stay together. Anywho, that being said, there's so much online stuff now, um, it's hard to do that all the time. So if you can find an artist who will kind of give you their seal of approval on a brush brand, I've started doing that. I've started to kind of, if they recommend it, I'm, I'm going to get it. Like when I needed to um, restock my brushes, that's, that's the way I did it this last time. The other one I did was Chris Hoy. I think her name is Chris Hoy, and it's from Cupboard Distributing. She has a brush, a couple brushes, like her liner brush and things like that. So, um... That's what I did with this one, and this is a brush that I probably would have never would have never been on my radar. Um, it's a wash brush. It's just a big, furry, bristled brush. But that being said, let me show you what I use for. This is the brush that I always use for um, varnishing. It, it I can't even see. It's a Royal Langnickel. Um, I don't know, maybe a one inch. And this is what's happened to it over the years. I mean, I've had this thing for so long, and I varnish with it. It's a flat brush that turned out, it became fluffy from using it all the time to varnish with. 
So I got the, the point, what she was saying was about, now look, when you load it, it gets, you have control. It's not just a fluffy brush, but because we, we want it to hold a lot of paint, like I haven't reloaded. Well, yes, I have. I probably have. I, I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> um, but anywho, I like these. These, are, these have really been good for, like I said, base coating a big project or for varnishing. I like it for varnishing a lot. Yeah, I'm reloading as I go. Ooh, and I'm splashing. <gasps> because this is not the fun part for me, you guys. This is kind of when you would put on some music, phone a friend. <laughs> um, this isn't what, you know, what, I, what I'm in it for, <laughs> the base coating part. But it is an important part, so I'm trying to go, like I always do, even with my smaller projects, get those ridges out. I don't want to have to overwork, because I'm going to sand this when I'm done. I'm not going to, uh, I don't want it to be full of ridges and bumps, but it, it also is just going to be a fun piece that's for me. So I'm not going to go crazy. So to each his own, take your time, do what makes you happy. And I'll be back when this is all base coated and I've sanded it and kind of have some idea of the colors I want to use. And that way, if you ever come across a little piece of furniture, and sometimes you can find these at yard sales or, you know, it'll just be a, a very unique piece of furniture maybe a stool or a little end table that's very unique in it and it's painted it's not like or even if it's varnished um, you can strip all that stuff off it's just that that's a little too much work for me <laughs> I would prefer it to be in its rawest form that's just me but you now we're handy we're handy crafters we know how to uh, get it done when we need to but anyway you can then create your own, and I, there's something in Margate, New Jersey, that I live near the shore, and they do a house tour. Um, i got to figure out when that is again, because, man, it's cool. But this one house, I went in, there was so many mosaic pieces. Like, they weren't mosaics, like, uh, literally, it was just, like, tile put on, kind of more like the mixed media ones that I did, that I did when, um, I broke all the uh, pots and, or the, what am I trying to say? It's called Picassiette. I think it's called Picassiette. When you break plates and glasses and um, glue those pieces onto a piece. I saw tables, all types of things, and they had handles of like mugs on it and everything. So anyway, never be afraid to play. That's all I'm trying to say, all right? So just for right now, I'm going to finish this up, and I'll be back when I'm ready to put some color down. That's the fun part. Thanks for watching.